Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me at CGB on the official Magic the Gathering Arena YouTube channel. Remember to like and subscribe over here for more Magic Arena content. Today we are playing with new cards from the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. And specifically, I have built a green and black deck around Throne of the Grim Captain. This is a fun little quest of its own, can all built into one compact little artifact that's only two mana. It's a legendary artifact that taps to mill two cards. Simple enough. But for four mana, you can craft it with a dinosaur, a merfolk, a pirate, and a vampire. So you need one of each of the founding kindred types to build together into one grim captain, which is a 7-7 seven, seven menace trample lifelink hexproof. I love that the four keywords are derivative from the four abilities that were present in the original Ixalan on the four different types of creatures. Menace pirates, trampled dinosaurs, lifelink vampires, hexproof merfolk. Then whenever the grim captain attacks, yes, it keeps going. Whenever the grim captain attacks, each opponent sacrifices a non-land permanent. Then you may put an exiled creature used to craft the grim captain onto the battlefield under your control, tapped and attacking. It is hard to get an amazing hexproof creature in standard these days. Even crazier to put lifelink on it so that it stabilizes the battlefield. This is an incredibly hard card to deal with. The hard part is getting the recipe of the deck together so that crafting it is even possible. I tried to do it in as few colors as possible to challenge myself even more. As you branch out into three and four colors, you can pick the very best merfolk, the very best vampires, etc. I wanted to do it all in two colors, black and green. So we came up with a mix where we have Greedy Freebooter for the Human Pirate, Ikor Drinker for the Vampire. We have multiple merfolks like Sentinel of the Nameless City primarily, but to go with Deep Root Wayfinder and the Spelunk Spelunker. And then in Dinos, we've got the Mighty 6-6 six, six Pugnacious Hammer Skull and Tranquil frill back. We stitch it all together with diabolic intent, possibly sacrificing a freebooter or a drinker to go get the creature type that we need the most or the grim captain's throne itself. This is a very exciting quest on a card and I really hope we get to create all kinds of grim captains today and just see our opponent squirm trying to deal with it. Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. It's a curve on the draw is rough, but we'll go for it. Not exactly mono red, huh? Could have sworn from the look of things it would be mono red. Dinosaur, ah, gotcha. A little two three hasty. Going seconds hard, but here is a deep root wayfinder. I have some dino power of my own. They're gonna play Stomper. Stomper needs a lot of mana to attack, though. We could get the Surveil trigger by going for this thing's throat, but I don't think that's worth it at all. Let's drop a 6-6. Six, six. A little taste of their own medicine, you might say. More Stomper. But they still can't attack or block. More Hammer Skull. No stun counter. Just six. All right, they hit their land drops. So they have four fours that can attack and block now. And they've got a trumpeting Carnosaur, which is gonna discover something. And it's a one one. Dino's working as intended. Two three provides an awkward block, doesn't it? This thing is just a trade. Let's let's go like this. Let's just see how they handle one big old six six. Nice. We'll see if they can blow me out with some kind of a play to follow that, where I will miss the go for the throat, like some Dracosaur or something huge. I can go bin. Yep. 
I wish I had a way to prevent that from happening now. It's a problem with dinosaurs. Sometimes they draw big dinosaurs. Let's drop a f free booter. All right, all the types are represented now. We just have to draw the throne. Let's gain four and hit the graveyard. Because why not? And chill. That's the card that we have to kill or we have to draw the throne now. Kill it. I mean, our stuff's okay in the graveyard anyway. Bingo. I wonder why they left the hammer skull alive. That must have been an oopsie. Gain four. Chill. Yeah, staring match. Let's go. Can do it all day. Yep. And it continues. This is magic how we did it old school. We just draw cards and see what happens. I guess we go for it. The good old fashioned beatdown strategy. Rah, rah. A food token. Are they gonna take out the hammer skull? Yes, they are. No, you got it. You can't backwards trample. All right, do they draw a dinosaur? Quick, someone ask them what they think of my draft deck. <laughs> Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling somebody threw the iPad across the room. Well, I'm going to sort some magic cards. A win's a win, and a rank's a rank. <clears throat> but you guys will have to wait one more game to see the captain. In the meantime, look at my foily infinity godless shrine. Ooh. On the draw, but we've got Freebooter and the Throne. See what we can get done. Hopefully it keeps alive long enough to craft into Captain if we're against... Well, if we're against Mono Red, we got this. Mono Black also has trouble, kind of, but you have to watch out for Liliana. Those are the two decks we most actually want to play. And of course, Mono Red on the play is sometimes just unwinnable anyway. What are these sleeves? Ooh, creepy. Yes, and Geralf. All right, Mono White. Dangerous deck. the captain out. Try bottom. Treasure. Three mana. Bargain. All right. Vampire. We go to work. Opponent has a perfect curve. Why wouldn't they? Gix's command that will never get cast. Oh, is that a merfolk? We just need a dinosaur? Just need a dinosaur. Nope. 
no land. Aww. Poor Mono White. I've got land. My whole hand is land. All right. It. That's a dinosaur. Let's go. I mean, there's your choices. Submit four. <laughs> Hexproof. Come at me. Opponent be like, huh? What? Yeah. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Get it! <laughs> Love this. Uh, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but we're going to gain seven. Yes! Too bad it's not toughness, right? Too bad. What do I do now? I got one creature in the graveyard. I can play a frill back that doesn't kill anything. But the big thing is you just want to be able to turn the tide and get aggressive, right? So here we go. You may put an exiled creature card used to craft this onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. Well, that's not a very exciting one. Actually, many of these aren't. I guess I'll take the dino because I can pay the amount. Dude, card is absolutely cracked. Once you do the thing, what are they supposed to do? Good game. Nailed it. Is it a good game because you're going to win? Because I gained a lot of life. Very impressive. Bam. Give up one of those, please. Give up another one. <laughs> the Grim Captain calls. That is brutal. Who will be the captain's next victim? Oh, this hand is beautiful. Holy cow. What could stop me? We greedy. We free booting. We lore keeper. All right, our opponent's into the dinos. I think I attack them because they want to use this for mana. What the heck? Mill it up. Merfolk pirate. We need a vampire. Just looking. Opponent with a great draw. Ooh. Heck, it's our vampire. I also want to play the hammer skull, but I can't. Yeah, we go get our vampire. We still have to get it into the graveyard, but we make a treasure so we can get it on the field. And this doesn't matter because we're about to shuffle. Here, vampire friend. Still need a dinosaur in the graveyard. And unfortunately this one costs three, but maybe we'll mill it. Maybe we'll get lucky. No, that exiles cards from graveyards. Oh, but they can't activate it yet. Okay, we have one turn to be awesome. This gets stunned. Love that for us. Let's get a little block. Mill. Yeah, this, this mana dork only works specifically very, very specifically for dinosaurs. You are not a dinosaur. But there's no dinosaur in the graveyard. Let's take a shot. Fire a bullet. Nope. Okay. Well, we have a dinosaur. 
And we have a freebooter. The opponent can start picking apart our graveyard now. But they don't know we have another vampire in hand. Oh, they tap out for the Dracosaur. So they're not going to block the Hammer Skull. And this has many things, but haste is not one of them. Make absolutely sure I know what I'm doing here. Yep. Six. Mill two. Craft. You. It's an exile, so we don't want to hit the freebooter that's on the field. You, you, you. Submit four. It's here. <laughs> Opponent. Pop it off with the Dracosaur. Let's see if it's ready for the Grim Captain. Next turn, I'm gonna Diabolic Intent for go for the throat. Take care of that thing. Carnosaur. Discover. Not another one. That's insane. That's so crazy good. Ow. Okay. Now we gotta get kind of lucky. So get rid of this. Scry doesn't matter. We can't lose our Grim Captain in combat. So we need a go for the throat to break up double blocks. Go to combat, attack, make him sacrifice. We get something back, probably a hammer skull. They give up the little baby creature, hammer skull. Already attacking, so it doesn't get the stun counter. Opponent with the block, all right. They go to six, we go to 23. Oh man, um, do I let them get two of these triggers? There's no way I'm supposed to, right? But if I blow this up, then maybe a double block next turn works out for them. Ah, we gotta do it. We gotta kill one of these. It's too dangerous. But that's how you get the, rid of the Grim Captain. You have to beat it in combat, which is really hard to do. But if you have enough sacrifice, fodder, and beef, which is exactly what the dinos have here, it can be done. Oh, oh no! How's my graveyard? Dino, pirate. Vampire. Merfolk is what we need to get back. Okay. This sucks because they can double block and kill the captain. But they don't know that for sure. No fear. Ah, oh, look at him. Everything in front. Well, it's been fun. Sad. Take three. They're down two, three. We're a mana short here. But we're not dead on board yet. It sure seems like it, though. Three Dracosaurs is too much. Absolutely too much. Fight rigging as well. This seems fine. Chompy chomp. Uh huh. <laughs> Bring it. I can take it. I'm strong. I, I, uh, yeah. Is that the best you can do? It only took three freaking bone horde dracosaurs to defeat me. Well, that hand is slow, and I'm keeping it anyway.
because we've got a lot of creatures to clog up the board and give our opponent some grief. And maybe a Gix's command to blow them out if they try to go wide to deal with it. Golgari. They're usually good at killing stuff. Woof. Dino. Go for the throat check. Liliana. It's busted. No more distractions. That's me. Wish I had a two mana creature now. <laughs> Off you go. Hmm. Sentinel. This is a pretty good card to discard to Liliana, so I'm just going to map token. More lands isn't a bad idea either. Yeah, you gotta play Sheldred there. Of course you do. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. No go for the throats yet for us, but we have a Gix's command. Incoming. Block with underdog, use Liliana to kill the sentinel. Magic goes on. Could have also gotten back two creatures there. Maybe that would be better. I like the life gain a lot. I also like making them deal with this, but that's a problem. That is a problem. Opponent having a, a meltdown here about what to do with Liliana. It's risky because I get rid of the Glissa and then the Liliana might just die having not achieved too much. So yeah, get rid of it now. Kill a 5-6 with Vigilance. One and value. Has to leave. Seems good. Another land is not what we want to see. I think I'll Splunk for five. That's a pretty high number. Must be nice. Yep, that stays. How are we doing? We don't have a pirate yet. We have to find one. If I were them, I'd power up the cottage and eat the vampire in the graveyard. Or the dinosaur. But they go for the underdog instead. Fresh magic cards coming through. Throwing off the top. Okay. It's not quite getting there. Mm, I'm gonna need this cottage, right? Well, no, not necessarily. We need to explore. It's Golgari, so they probably have a ton of removal. Let's see if they have one here. Dino. Graveyard. We're just trying to find a pirate. Top 20 cards removed. Drawing Diabolic Edict would be good. Go for the Throat would be very good. Please remove counters from my Sentinel of the Nameless City. I hope you're drawing as many lands as I am. Ah, oh, that's bad for us. 
That makes us actually doing the thing super unlikely. What is one to do in a world with such random graveyard hate? All right, I think there's another dino. That's another merfolk. We need to hit exactly a pirate and a vampire, which are the unlikely types in the deck. Vampire? <sighs> Map me. Wayfinder? Map it. I want to be able to block these nasty trespassers. Not another cut down. Come on. Ah! Uh, kill this, kill me, right? Well, I'll die that way. Actually, they just blitz underdog. We can save them the trouble. Ah! Oh, man. Kalvagari's good deck. Made me sad.